we look at America today, there's about 120,000 patients who are waiting for an organ. So our solution to that is to bioengineer an organ. To the average person, this may sound like science fiction, but I can tell you that even to the average transplant surgeon, or maybe not so average transplant surgeon, it still sounds a little bit like science fiction. But uh, this is an incredible time where it's a new era. We have gene editing, we have cloning, we have all kinds of things. Bioengineered kidneys, especially the way that a company like Miro Matrix envisions this, might be a reality. I mean, we're really at the precipice where we could actually envision this could work. A bioengineered organ, at least in this context, is a scaffold. If you think about it, it's like the steel of a building. So our process, what we're able to do on the bioengineering side is we actually start with a pig organ, um, but not in the traditional sense that we're gonna take that pig organ and directly transplant it into a human. It's a process we call decellerization. So essentially we use the native vessels inside of the organ and we essentially, we just hook it up with a tube and then we pass a solution through it, essentially a detergent, a detergent that's likely in most people's shampoo. And what that does is go in and it just dissolves the cells, but it leaves the matrix, it leaves the structure of the organ. Because we remove all the cells from that pig organ, the body, our bodies don't see it as a pig organ anymore. We're able to take those organs well, for whatever reason, you know, quality control, whether they uh, long ischemia time or whether they had high vascular resistance, whatever it meant why they weren't able to be placed into uh, a patient. We're able to utilize those organs, now isolate out those individual liver cells or individual kidney cells. So at that point, we then take those human cells uh, that we've isolated from organs that weren't placed for transplant, and we infuse those into the organ itself, allow those to engraft, and then bring back the functionality of the organ. and essentially regrow the organ. But now, instead of having a pig organ, now it's a human organ. So our first step is really, since a bioengineered organ's never been transplanted into a patient yet, is our ability to be able to take that liver and how is that external to the patient. So this is our opportunity to take our bioengineered liver, house that external to the patient, and essentially provide liver dialysis to the patient. Once we're able to demonstrate that, is not only to provide that to the acute liver failure patients, but then that opens up us to go for the fully transplantable and have the faith that that's going to provide the functionality immediately for those patients. Having a liver assist device is going to give us the opportunity to save more people, use the liver few precious, scarce resources we do have for others um, and is going to actually allow more people to be alive. I'm, I'm very excited. This is the future. The time is now. Um, this isn't science fiction anymore.